it's Chris Lechness with MobilitySite.com. I'm here today to show you a new program by SPB Software House called SPB Mobile Shell. This, uh, this software is designed to make your Windows Mobile, I guess you would say, converged device experience much better. Uh, one thing that SPB saw when they were looking at other UIs on other phones that are non-Windows Mobile, like the Symbian OS and so forth, is how it's all menu driven. There is no drop down start menu. Uh, the start menu is great. Uh, the Windows, you know, whole environment thing, but it's not fast. Uh, you have to, you know, go down, you know, drop it down, scroll down, go to your program file, your program tab. Then you got to go to your um, games folder to play solitaire. Blah blah blah. So they've introduced mobile shell, which is consists basically of three main parts and that's the uh, now screen which is the uh, what you see when you first turn the device on which I kinda wish that they would allow to come back when you get done with an application or whatever to replace your today screen then they have a today plugin that has tabbed um, little tabs with different areas for your content to make everything smaller or more compact everything in one place so you don't have to scroll up and down on your today screen and then you have a menu, which is very similar to like a UI, the UI on a Symbian device or whatnot. So let me just take a look at it here. When you first turn it on, you show up on what we call the Now screen, which consists of your battery indication, your email, um, and if you had emails that were unread, it would be a 1 or a 10 or whatever there, um, your text messaging, and your missed calls. And if you click on that, you'll see I haven't got any missed calls. What I would love to see, though, is if when I hit OK to get out of here, instead of going, well, it went to the menu this time instead of today's screen because I was in the menu earlier. But let's let's do it this way. Demonstrate this. It's a great program. There's just a couple of small things I don't like. Okay. I got no missed calls, right? Hit OK. And I'm going to go back to the today screen now. I would love it if we could configure this program to go back to that now screen. However, when the device times out and you take it out of your case or your pocket or whatever, and you turn it back on, you're on the now screen. So like I said, we have uh, email, text messaging, missed calls, and your uh, signal strength meter. Pulling from the weather portion of this program, which there's a light version of weather um, and a couple other of the SPB applications installed, you know, that come with this. Um, this pulls from your city data, and it's telling me what 40 something degrees here. Then your date, and then a big old time. You can set that in the options to be a digital clock as well. So, we've got a review um, done by Andrew here that we uh, he's doing it on the, the uh, Pocket PC version using this software on a Dell Axum X51 which it, it works great and it a lot of the functionality is still there and for the today screen plugin it's invaluable alone but on a non-converged device there's a lot of functionality that this software brings that the Dell Axum will not need so keep that in mind um, the Dell Axum it, it's a great device I wish it was a converged device now but it's not so um, the reason the SPB want, they wanted everything to be fast. They wanted you to be able. This is basically a shell stuck on top of Windows Mobile 5. And by the way, you must have Windows Mobile 5 to run this, or better. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll run any rumored newer versions of the OS coming out. But uh, let's bring that back up here. Um, visual appearance. They really they they want it. I mean, you want it to be pretty when you pick up this device. You don't want an ugly set of icons looking at you, do you? So, um, they also developed all the things, all the icons and whatnot. They wanted you to be able to, you know, just click on it with a finger. Big enough to where you can see it with a finger. Or, you know, manipulate it. with. A, and, and I'll show you that on the Today screen when we get there. Uh, one hand navigation. Uh, easy to use. Fast. They want uh, One thing that uh, the developers were talking about was the the time it takes when you click on something for something to happen. They don't want you to have to sit there and wait on an hourglass. They want it to happen now. So anyway, let's get off today's screen. The next thing we can look at um, is the menu. Now, if you really want to, you can go to a start button, 
go to programs, go to games, click on Bubble Bobble, right? Or you can use this here. You, you might have to go through as many steps, but you click on programs, games, you're there, but you're not actually having to click that down. And you see how fast things just, I mean, it's there. So, and to get back to the menu is not as simple. That's another little quirk that I see about it. Um, best thing to do for me is to just turn it off. SPV menu. You could also, let me show you the, the way that they probably intend us to get there. Let's get out of here. I'll bring this up just to get to the day screen. Um, you can go to this tab on here and click on, I think that's menu. Oh no, that's the, ah, uh, let's see here. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to try to tell you that because the way I use it basically is from here. I operate everything. And one thing I'll show you while we're here is the themes. Well, let me go back here. You see, this is the standard color theme. You can just click on, go to here to that tab. And I want a black theme, right? Just click black. Hit OK. Everything's black. I want to go here. I want a red theme. What you hear in the background is my son playing Lego Star Wars 2 on the Xbox 360. He loves that game. And I'm done there. Everything's red. So let's just leave it red and we'll go back to where I was. And SPB menu. Got tools. Soft reset. Got all that there. Click the back button. Start menu. Well, let's just go in order. Tools. Messaging. You can select from all that. Settings, here's where you can administer your settings, including the mobile shell. And you can do all this, by the way, from the D-pad if you like to. And say we want to go back, you'll use your soft key there. So you got your organizer, that's where you got your contacts, calendar, and so forth. Start button, you can navigate through all your commonly used programs. Your program, you go to here to programs. You see everything's just snapping. And I've got other applications running in the background, and it's just snapping. Let's go back here. Program. Oops, that's where I was. Oh, you. I, I didn't even notice that. You can just eliminate going to programs right there. Multimedia. And you got an Internet tab there. So that's your menu, and this is basically designed to give you quicker access to everything so similar to how like a Symbian or one of the other manufacturers you know UIs are so let's go to the today screen or you can go back to the now screen here now I wish they had on the today screen a button that said now here in the the uh, program tab none of these are in that now screen and I, I just you know wish that you could go right there so but, you know, if you got it turned off, you pull it out of your pocket, you turn it on, bam, you're on the Let's now take a look screen. at the now, uh, the Today Screen plug-in. Now, you can, you can have other plug-ins going, but obviously with the 240 by 240 real estate here, we don't have a lot of room for that. So where this comes into place, you can administer these tabs by going to your settings and go to tabs. And here's your tabs. You can move them up, down. You know, which will in the, you know make them right or left on your screen, or you can create a new one if you have like SPB Pocket Plus working and you want that. You can create a tab for it, so you can click on that tab and there's Pocket Plus. If you've got something from another manufacturer or another uh, software vendor, you can also set one up. Like I did here, I have set up one for the picture, um, the picture pl uh, Today Screen plugin. And I also set one up for inbox. Um, I don't really use the inbox one, but we'll show you that. Let's see here. Well, while, we're, while I was in the, the settings, let me finish up with what all we can do here. You can uh, auto hide the tab content, backlight it. Your now screen. We'll put that to a digital clock. So next time we get there, we'll show you what that looks like. 
like I showed you, you can administer your tabs right there. You can set up a theme here if you want. You can actually change your colors of your themes right here too. But we're not going to do that right now. And you can have it, say you don't want to or you, you don't have an unlimited data package or whatever. You don't want to go out and search for new weather data every single moment that you can. You can just click that off. So let's go back here. Um, one thing, let's go back here one more time. I'm sorry. We'll go to the settings for, or actually, you know what? Let's just go here. Settings, today's screen. And show you the different, obviously you say I've got a lot of these default today's screen plugins turned off because a lot of the functionality is being used or being used being replaced with mobile shell that's the main the main plugin that gives you the tabs then let's say that one of those tabs your home tab your time tab weather dial whatever you want it to always show so you click on it like i have with the weather and you saw that right here when I go to my today screen, weather's already there. I, I could very easily have these programs sitting there all the time, or and it tells you right there, you have chosen to display this plugin, blah blah blah. So and then you got your alarm tab, which gives you know my next alarm is here, and you can click on that to edit it if you want to. And I, I just set this up for demonstration purposes, but here's the photo plugin. You could easily have any other plugin that you use, like SPB Diary or whatnot. So, but you just go through these tabs, and there you go. And there's the um, um, Outlook, the inbox tab I created. Just you know, if I'm on the Today screen, and I want to see my email. If I if I put the email plugin up here, it pushes everything down on a another phone that has a you know a more typical orientation that's not square. You could actually get more down there. So, um, you got your dial tab. This is pretty cool. This is, you know, this particular device, the Palm Trio, uh, Palm has a real nice photo dialing speed dial plug in anyway, but this, if you don't want to use it, there's this. You know, I want to call my dad, I just click it. I want to call Val Snow, who by the way is my fictional, I don't want to give you the phone numbers of my other people. There's my house, there's my son, Jack Cook, Stephen Hughes, but I want to call Val. Click on Val, and there it goes. It tries to call her. Touch screen disable. I hang that up, and we're right back to the to the uh, today screen. The uh, you got your program tab where you can do all this. Most recent programs are here. Here's Bubble Bobble now. So it's a pretty cool program. One thing that SPB did with this was they wanted you to be able to do everything if you wanted to with your hand one one handed right so let's say I want to call somebody oops I got an email I dismiss that I want to call somebody now I'm looking through a camera here so I don't have real good orientation and I want to call Val my big fat fingers can still call Val just by clicking it with my finger I'm gonna hang that up but let's say I want to see what the weather is going to be like Wednesday. Bam, I'm there. I want to check my email. I'm there. And then I can just click on that. So, I don't want to do that right now. Click OK. Well, I don't need to because I'm not in anything. But, you know, you can just flip around through here. See whatever you need to see. One other thing here. You know, like I showed it. It's got, and you've got also got where you can select your... Wow, that's too too dim. That's too bright. That's just right. Actually, let's go a little brighter. There you go. There's your settings for you today. I was recently in that. Bubble Bottle, Internet Explorer. Okay, if you have a landscape or a uh, traditional display device, 320 by 240, you can rotate it right there. <laughs> don't get anything special out of it on the trio but if you, um, if you use your device in landscape it will give you a wider you know anyhow so go straight to your notes it's just 
you know, everything's right there. And let's do so. Oh, and here's the uh, digital clock we were talking about. Just change that layout a little bit. Now you see we have six emails there. And I could just click on that if I wanted to go look at it right now. So let's go to the menu. I can use my, hope y'all see this well. I can use my uh, soft key here. And, you know, one handed. I'm, I'm not using the, the uh, stylus at all. Inbox. I want to go back. I use the left soft key. I want to close it. And I'm back to the day to the to the, to, to the today screen. However, you know, even when this is this working, you can still click your and the uh, start key or the uh, Windows start button has been remapped to go straight to this version of the menu. However, if you really wanted to, you could use still use your drop down menu. You can go here and go to contacts, dial pad, whatever. And you still got well here. Let's close that. Anyway, so that's that's SPV Mobile Shell. It's a really neat program, and I'll I'll go through a few more things later. But for now, that's a good first look at it, and uh, I think it's going to be a huge success. Just the whole you know quick you know get quick getting to everything. I think that's really going to be a, a hot seller. Just one more, one more thing before we go. I'm going to set this back down, and I'm going to show you some different configurations. We can go here to, here, let's go to the, we'll turn off, um, turn off this weather tab, and we'll turn on like tasks, and show you what happens here. I got no tasks, but if I did, you know, but now some of the, uh, see that's kind of pushed down under the bar a little bit. It didn't create, it's not far enough to have created a little scroll there, but let's go back here and let's put some, let's turn something else on. Let's put owner ID on and you'll see what happens here. Now this would be irrelevant on a larger device that has a, uh, you know, more standard orientation. Let's go here again. Now it pushes it all the way down. So you'll see why we got some stuff turned off. Let's uh, let's go back here. Turn those back off. And we want to tell us. Let's turn. Let's turn our dial tab on. And now every time you get here, dial's right there. So I, I turn this off. Turn on, we're on the, oops. Our focus went out on us. Sorry about that, guys. We're on our dial screen. Get your sun and whatnot. Close that and we go to our SPB. Plug in on our today, it's on our today screen and there we go. So it's a very configurable program. How you use it is up to you, but it's pretty powerful. Uh, I'm going to make some, comments on a couple little things that I would like to see and SPB's been, really been great taking user and community feedback and, they, and it may be in place I just hadn't figured it out yet so anyway my name is Chris Lightness this is Mobility Site uh, I am Chris Lightness from Mobility Site and this has been a first look at SPB Mobile Shell check it out uh, make sure to read uh, Andrew's review as well he did this on the uh, did a full review for the last two weeks on the um, Dell Axum X51 and this demo was on the Palm Trio 750 from Singular and have a good evening